four loss. He was able to avenge it last week as he got a 5-2 win over Everett, who is 15th. Here's a takedown for Ward, first points of this match. Ward immediately going to work, trying to roll over Meeks, who is trying to squirm away. Good job here from Ward, working and trying to get the near four points. Meeks battling as best as he can. Ward able to get that arm away from the mat, and that got him some near four points. He'll get two more. He's got a four-point lead, and back down to the mat. He takes Meeks, 10 seconds on the clock. Midway point of the season for both of these programs as Heilman is able to get the left leg of Straw, looking for a takedown of his own. Able to get him down to all fours, looking for control, and there it is, two points on the control. There's a shot from Heilman, gets both legs and gets the takedown as he's able to get Straw down, a 6-3 lead. There's a shot from Straw, able to get the right leg of Heilman. Heilman has the waist of Straw, though. And Chase Straw in a precarious situation here. If Heilman can get that right leg free and spin around, he will gain some points. Either way, he's able to eat up some clock right now. And there he gets the two points, works himself around, gets the leg free. It's an eight to five lead in the riding time, up above a minute, fourth match of 10. We've had some exciting ones so far. Tar Heels leading, Moon looking for some more points. He gets the double leg takedown, and there's two more points on the takedown, a six to one lead. Now again, it's Moon on top. De Blasi in a very uncomfortable position, looking for the pin, it was close, but two more points on the reversal. Now rolling Breitenbach towards those back shoulders. Looking for the pin here. Clark gets two points on the takedown. Breitenbach able to get over to his knees and avoid that fall, which would be huge if Tar Heels could get those six points. Clark continuing to work, getting some near fall points right now. Looked like a two count. We haven't gotten a signal yet from the referee. And he's gonna give him all four points on that near fall, an eight to one lead for Jack Clark. Clark just needs a takedown to get that technical fall win for the Tar Heels. And that would be five points in on the shot as he's able to get to that right, or excuse me, the left leg of Breitenbach. But Breitenbach has got the left leg of Clark. Clark continuing to work, trying to get around. And there are the two points on the takedown and five big ones for North Carolina. A two to one lead for Weatherspoon. Ramos with a shot, gets both legs. See if he can work and get the takedown points before this clock will sound. Eight seconds to go. Witherspoon holding on to that left leg desperately of Ramos. And he is gonna be able to ride the clock out. Nope, the points were awarded to Ramos right before the sound of the horn. There's a shot into the left leg of Witherspoon. Ramos has him on his back now. Witherspoon literally was standing on his head for a moment. Still no takedown points for Ramos, looking for the sweep of the leg. Able to get down to the mat, but still no points. Ramos now gets around to the back and gets two points. A six to two lead for Ramos. And Shemansky's able to get the escape. He takes the lead for the first time in the match at three to two. To catch his breath. 30 seconds gone here in the third round, and Simmons will get the escape points. Shemansky carrying Simmons. Still nothing from the referee. 30 seconds ago, the entire Tar Heel bench is up screaming for two points. Still working, everybody on the Tar Heel side throws the referee with two points for Shemansky. Just 15 seconds left on the clock for Simmons. Shemansky looking for the upset. He'll give the Tar Heels the victory if he can pull it off. And I think Simmons just may be out of gas. The clock ticking down, 
And that's going to do it. James Shemansky gets the victory at 125. 5-3. North Carolina wins it 20-17.